Hello my friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you how I make my Sophia rose. The tools I will be using are wooden dowels, hot glue gun, and my templates. Two size templates, two small and two medium. Let's get started. Okay, we start by shaping my petals. And I always begin with top and bottom and always leave one in the center. And I start by putting my dowel in the bottom and shape and turning the paper inward, upward. Okay, and now just slightly bring them up together. Just like so, a little bit of glue. Careful with the glue, it's hot. Hold it, oops. And now we do the other side. There we go. Nice and tight. Keep it in place for a little bit. Okay, now we go with the next petal. Down on the bottom. And then shape it back a little bit. Down on the bottom and shape it back. And sorry, here I said down on the bottom, it's down on the top and back. Down on the top and fold it forward and then back. Next side, just slightly to, towards the back. Down the bottom, like so. Okay. Now we begin with this, bring it up, pinch the back like so, glue on each side. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me here, my channel. I love having you here. Hold it. Make sure it does stick on there. Sometimes it's the paper or it's just sometimes the weather or you just need to add a little bit more glue, but hold it in place. Next one, pinch the back like so. Little bit of glue. Bring it up like so. This glue is a little stringy, so we clean it up at the end. And I want to thank everyone that sent me name suggestions for this rose. I didn't have a name for it. And many of you said Sophia, and that's what we named it, Sophia. Last one. Glue. Bring it up. Hold it. See how lovely. Okay. There's the bud. Now we go to the next template, template number two. Down on the bottom and then just slide it. Down on the bottom and then just slide it. And then always like to give it the figure. And I just put it in my palm 
roll my finger towards the top, down in the middle. And that gives it that nice curve. I have many ways of doing it, but this is the easiest way for me right now. I have a huge order for a wedding and I need to find the easiest and fastest way to make these flowers. And I came up with this, it really, it's really helpful. Just like so. It doesn't crease it really bad. It's a nice clean shape. Okay, so again, this time we're just gonna go back, down the bottom and back, down the bottom, back. And careful because this template has such beautiful shape. And we're just doing it very lightly, folding back lightly. Okay. Now we're going to put these corners, bottom corners, right in the center, like so. Okay, so glue right in the center. And careful with the glue, like I say, it's very hot. So, and now it's time to bring it up. Pinch, pinch the bottom and bring it up. A little bit of glue. Pinch it and bring it up. And sometimes I like to just, you know, it's not holding on. The glue's not in the proper place. So I have to add in the proper place. Okay, there we go. Again, I have to add glue. Okay. I don't know why it's not wanting to stick, but we just continue holding it and continue adding. Glue. Next petal, pinch the bottom and bring it up and hold it. Just like so. Continue holding it as you're going to add more petals. Oops, nope. I can't continue until this sticks on there. And again, hold it in place. Make sure it stays. Again, bring it up. Pinch and put in place. This Sophia Rose is so beautiful. I really enjoy making it. And I will making a, I will be making a bouquet of flowers. And she will be on that bouquet. She was invited. She was picked. So it's gonna look so beautiful. Again. Last one, pinch and bring up. Need to make sure it is Hold it and be careful because these petals are very fragile because of the edges, how they're shaped. Okay. Now we go to the 
third petal, which is a larger petal. And again, we're going to do the same thing. And we can do it actually with two petals. It doesn't have to be one. We can put both petals so we can work a lot faster. And just like so. See? And we can two petals at a time that's the maximum that I would do to shape I wouldn't do three with this type of uh, petal okay almost done Now we're going to put this petal, try to center it in between the two petals. Okay, as so. A little bit of glue. Center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And now we bring it up. Make sure it's in place. And now we bring this one, a little bit of glue, and bring it up, bring it up, hold it. And now if you're interested in purchasing my template, you can go to my Facebook Messenger, leave me a message or uh, Instagram page at Aurora's Fine Designs or you can email me at Aurora's Fine Designs at gmail.com Let's go with the other one and this one needs a little bit more glue Oops Go Okay And just we need to be careful because the petals are very delicate you don't want to fold the edges. So this glue's not doing what I want it to do. Even though it's the glue that I always use, the Gorilla Glue. And the paper I'm using is 65 cardstock. Again, pinch it and bring it up and hold it. Just doing our best to keep it in place. Okay, next one. Bring it up. Hold it. Please, if this is the first time you visit my channel, I hope you like it. I hope you leave a message or a comment or subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Oh wow, look how beautiful that looks. I really like it. Okay, everything looks good so far. Last one, same thing. This petal right in the center of this. These two petals. Oh, 
hold it in place. This is so beautiful. This rose is a two different uh, templates that I have for this rose. I have the template also to make a 14, 16 inch rose. And this is the one sheet template. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just gonna put glue in the bottom, fold it and stick it. Glue in the bottom, a straight line, fold it and stick it and hold it. Okay, we go to the next one. Straight line of glue in the bottom. Fold it and stick it. Fold it back and hold the bottom so that it sticks on there. Okay, you see? And I wanted to make, I wanted to design a template in a way that you could just easily print out one sheet and easily you have a rose. You don't have to cut and cut and cut so much. Like the other big roses, you have to cut 30, 30 petals. And I mean, if you already know how to make those roses, it's wonderful. But you can start with these. They're easy to make, very fast. Okay, just fold and put just like so, just fold it, even easier. Okay. And new designs are coming. I have many designs. And again, I wanna thank you guys for giving it a name, the Sophia Rose. And I will be asking for more names because I have more designs coming out and I need help with the names. Here is my Sophia Rose. You can shape it if you like a little bit more or you can leave it like that. Just let it flow. It's your personal choice. Here's the Sophia Rose. I hope you liked it and I hope my tutorial was nice and easy for you to understand. Thank you so much.